Hello Grade 5! I am Teacher Russell of Lenanpin Elementary School and I am your teacher for today's lesson. Our lesson is about multiplying decimals with factors up to two decimal places. Let's begin! Here is our points to remember. It says here, in multiplying decimals with factors up to two decimal places, Multiply like multiplying whole numbers. Place the decimal point in the product equal to the sum of the number of decimal places in both factors. Okay, for us to really understand this concept, let's try to solve some examples. Okay, find the product of the following. In number 1, we have 8.2 and 0.3. Okay, first, we are going to rewrite this into this. Okay, now we must multiply them as we multiply whole numbers like in the previous lesson. 3 times 2 equals 6 and 3 times 8 equals 24 and the answer is 246. We don't need to multiply 0 to 8.2 because the answer would be zeros. Okay, so we will proceed to the next step. Now, how many numbers do we have to the right at the decimal point? So we have decimal point in 8.2 or 8 and 2 tenths. And we have decimal point in 0 0.3. So we have two numbers to the right of the decimal point of 8.2 and 0 0.3 which are 2 and 3 by that our final answer should be the same so the answer should be 2 and 46 hundreds another example 0 0.47 times 1.2 okay same process 2 times 7 equals 14. Write 4 and regroup number 1. Then, 2 times 4 equals 8 plus 1 equals 9. 2 times 0 equals 0. Next, 1 times 7 equals 7. 1 times 4 equals 4. Then, 1 times 0 equals 0. Okay, let's add. We bring down 4 and 9 plus 7 equals 16. Okay, write number 6 and regroup number 1. So, 1 plus 4 equals 5. Then bring down 0. Then the answer is 0, 5, 6, 4. Now, because we are multiplying decimals, we must count again the numbers to the right of the decimal points. We have decimal point in 0 0.47 and we also have in 1.2. By that, we have three numbers to the right of decimal point of 0 0.47 and 1.2, which are 4, 7, and 2. And the final answer should be the same. So the final answer is 0 and 564 thousands now for the third item i will give you the opportunity to answer that on your own if you have any questions just ask your parents or your teacher for guidance okay by that thank you again for watching and i hope you understand the lesson for today goodbye